Hello and greetings from Iceland. I have something very new and strange for you today. Or a story that started yesterday about a smoking hot road over a mountain pass between Reykjavík and the popular south coast. This area where the road is is actually nothing but a volcano ridge on the plate boundaries just by the volcano Hengill, which is considered to be one of the systems on the Reykjanes Peninsula. But what makes it a different system is the fact that it is a central volcano with uh, two magma chambers at a little depth and a nice fissure swarm under this highway or the ideal recipe to harvest some of the energy from the cooling magma under there. And there are in fact two geothermal power plants by this mountain. And when we zoom down, we find this massive road embankment there to smooth out the slope. And that's where the smoke is now. And it is a little under 100 degrees Celsius, which is actually the ideal temperature to make bread. So some of the road workers did so while working there, like making some drill holes for thermometers. But the road remains open, although this has been growing quite fast. So we actually don't know where this is heading. This has been all over the news here in Iceland, or the hottest part of the Icelandic highway system, and the tourism season is just starting. Experts are discussing methods to let some of the steam out from under the road, like with drill holes and pipes, so they won't have to close the road or move it. So at this moment, this is blamed on geothermal activity, and if that is the case, there are some explanations to work with, and the first one might just be uh, general changes in the plumbing under there, and uh, there was actually a quite large earthquake nearby, last summer, magnitude 4.9. Then we have facts like huge amounts of steam have been used uh, for the last decade to power the turbines in the nearby power plants. And there was this plan to build the third power plant nearby, but at the same time, the other power plant was getting into problems with decreasing power to drive the turbines. So the plans for the new power plant were cancelled and the energy from the area where it was supposed to be was pipelined to the old power plant. So it would be business as usual there. So this was not as sustainable energy as we believed at first. And one has to ask if this operation has in fact affected the geology of the region in some way. And then we have this carbon project by this power plant that has been growing beside it. And it is all about to dissolve the CO2 in wastewater and inject it hundreds of meters deep into the basaltic ground where this uh, mixture reacts with the rock, trapping the carbon for good. And that injection has caused many man-made earthquakes. They used to get very nasty from time to time, but overall it's getting better now. So there we have yet another element that could be teasing us. But the biggest element is of course the simple fact that we are on the plate boundaries. And the complete Reykjanes Peninsula has just started a cycle of unrest that might go on for the next 200 years. So this might uh, just as well be a part of that action. And uh, where we have uh, plate boundaries, we tend to get uh, eruptions. And it didn't take me long to find old craters by this very impressive fault only 300 meters away from this uh, steaming hot part of the highway. And those craters are actually quite nice and are not so ancient, judging from a look. However, I can't say for sure now. I think they are around 2,000 year old, but uh, I will look at it better soon. And there is absolutely nothing in the maps that is indicating an eruption. So in general, this is blamed on geothermal activity. However, it is cooling magma that produces the heat and the steam under there. So uh, something has changed. We know that for sure. So it's time now to uh, go for the big question. Or what am I going to do about this? Having this uh, new thermal drone. And uh, of course, I am going after this. There is uh, no way that I'm leaving this alone. And I'm not even sure if the Icelandic experts have a drone like me. The thermal image in the news was miserable. So this is my big chance. I was measuring the distance I had to fly and I was also choosing suitable takeoff places to get the shots that I want to get. And uh, I suspect that uh, I will be chasing this uh, heat not just under the road. I will simply just be going after it.
síðar eftir lítsmi so this was uh, exactly the excuse I needed to do this 1000 km trip from the north to the Reykjanes Peninsula and back and there are also some craters on the Reykjanes Peninsula that have been waiting for me hot craters that I needed to fly over to see what settings are best for the thermal camera but this uh, hot rod it will also help me of course plus this is very interesting subject this is actually two three weeks too early to do a trip like this since the nature isn't as green as I want it to be or for some of the videos I plan to shoot and the weather forecast is not so good now but I'm also dealing with the fact that I need good uh, marketing material for the new drone this is a high profile story so I just have to do this no matter what and as usual it's hard for me to get any editing done while on the road so I'm not promising any uploads uh, while I'm on this trip but after I get back it won't take me long and this hot road is already telling me how useful this drone is and will be because uh, what I will be bringing back is for sure something that you have never ever seen before or the hottest part of the Icelandic highway in history and with that I'm sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, High Island.